life is all about fancy things so few days ago one of the students who is actually working in uh, studying in one of the german universities messaged me on whatsapp well i get such my such such messages almost every second day and he told me that which books do you read show me one book i said okay i show you one book at the right point of time so what happened that three months before not three months in fact one year before in singapore the fancy word or the buzzword was rectech regulatory technologies i still remember that multi million funding happened to rectech to many startups few i know personally but after that what happened to these startups to be honest i don't know for for two reasons number one google is not showing the much information about these startups and number two regulatory is so timid and ineffective that there is no one place which we have wherein we go and get the figures so that is a that is a problem but more or less they are same things so what happened in this video we're going to talk about how in the last 6 to 7 months one important topic which is fundamental review of the trading book and appropriate regulatory pertaining to fundamental review of the trading book not happened so example this book which i bought in 40 us dollars from singapore airport it is known as rectech i do not say that this book is a good book even though it is by wiles and when i almost done the 20% of this book but when i read this book i got to know that this book is in fact showing something which is very fancy practically it is not possible you know just like at one of the places in this book i got to know about these things which is i'll show you out now look at that macro potential policy offers yet another promising ground ground for rectech it ultimately seeks to soften the severity of the financial cycle by utilizing large volume of the reported data to identify pattern and changes over time let this idiot know that macro potential policy has nothing to do with the rectech that is for sure macro potential policy has everything to do with the data analytics and data analytics and rectech are the two completely different thing example mr bill gates and steve jobs steve jobs is from apple while mr bill gates is from microsoft so if an idiot so i put the star also here you know i buy it i read line by line so such big mistakes which you have you know as far as these books are concerned which are costing you 40 us dollars around 3000 rupees in the last 6 months one important topic was out of context in fact no google no whatsapp no facebook no instagram no regulator no research report no big four nobody talked about that and that is fundamental review of the trading book practically speaking fundamental review of the trading book should have been commenced as at 1st january 2019 but it is more than one year that it is not yet because the date being postponed to 1st january 2022 but now fundamental review of the trading book is facing multiple issues and rather than forget issues it is facing the questions which i really doubt fundamental review of the trading book would be able to answer or not so example when fundamental review of the trading book shortly known as frtb was under construction nobody was aware about the fact that or much aware about the libor transitioning in fact libor transitioning started from the note of i would say sfr secured overnight uh, financing rate but today we have nine contenders of libor replacement and more contenders are on the cards like i don't know till what extent you are tracking but our whatsapp groups we covering these things day before yesterday which is thursday goldman sachs and jp morgan concluded sofr options basically ois options sofr ois option ois stands for overnight index swap yesterday which is friday 
JP Morgan Chase along with Bank of Canada confirmed a CCIRS. In fact, precisely speaking, cross currency basis swap between the SOFR and CORA. CORA is a fallback rate of CDOR, which is Canadian dollar. Canadian dollar overnight rate. So CORA is the fallback rate. So in LIBOR transitioning, there are two rates. One is the legacy rate, example UST LIBOR. And one is the fallback rate, which is uh, your SOFR. So currently there are nine fallback rates which we have across the globe. And they are for Australian dollar it is ONIA, Australian overnight index average. For Canadian dollar it is CORA. For Swiss franc it is uh, SARON. For Euro it is ESTR, European short term rate. For GBP it is SONIA, Sterling overnight index average. While for Hong Kong it is Honia, Hong Kong Overnight Index Average. For Japanese Yen, it is Tona. And for USD, it is SOFR. So these all are the rates which are currently under the fallback. Now the problem which we have in the fallback is that number one, and the big problem is that fundamental review of the trading book, which is going to be initiating in 2022, and unfortunately standing today no bank is prepared for that this fundamental review of the trading book is not talking it about the fallback mechanism and cannot because it was not devised appropriately number two when i pinpointed several mistakes in ista documentation pertaining to the cessation of fallback many people laughed but what happened as projected ista took the cessation guidelines back and now they are coming up with the fresh guidelines for the fallback structures. Because when I read this, it was completely misled. It was completely fake. It was completely inconsistent. You know, now what happens that sooner or later, fundamental review of the trading book would face a big issue. And that issue is the fallback issue. Number one, is the fallback guidelines are not ready. Number two, the recent addition, recent addition in the fallback, which is Honia which is Hong Kong overnight index average is was, was out of context, but now it is in the context. Point number three and many, and many, many most important thing. The recent derivative structures, which banks are trading just like SOFR swaptions, just like cross currency basis swap between SOFR and Cora. So there are nine candidates, nine C2 which means 9 into 8 factorial into divided by 2. So for a minute I assume 8, I think there are humongous compositions which we have worldwide. Example, Tona with, so example I start about Onia. Onia with Cora, Onia with Saron, Onia with ESTR, Onia with Sonia, Onia with Honia, Onia with Tona and Onia with SFR. You would be thinking that Onia with Cora is same as Cora with Onia. No. And that's the beauty. If I'm going to have a basis swap or a cross currency interest rate swap between Onia and Cora, the valuation would be different if I do Cora and Onia. But these things are not being taught in the books. So to cut the long discussion short, fundamental review of the trading book would be facing a very big mess up soon. Because ISTA documentation is not ready, common consensus is not ready, the functionality is not ready, financial terminals are not ready, and more importantly, majority of the people, those who claim to be a LIBOR transition expert, they do not know even the full meaning of these eight. And another problem which we have in the LIBOR transitioning, which is which is started or in fact initiated by DTCC, which is Depository Trust. Trust Corporation is that they said that we are good. First of all, DTCC is a CST, which is Central Central Securities Depositories. In fact, we have two players. One is CST, Central Security Depositories. We have NST, which is National Security Depositories. Now, DTCC, which is Depository Trust Corporation, which is a US-based body, 
DTCC now planning to enter the enter the DLT based framework, which is distributed ledger technology or blockchain into the CST architecture. Although they are very much serious about uh, having that, this will create an issue. Number one, current blockchain architecture do not keep anything anything which I mentioned into consideration. In fact. Once we have a detailed video on the project Ubin, side by side, we are going to be covering that. Second problem, the current DLT, current CST architecture do not talk about, uh, the DLT architecture do not talk about access management, which is very important. Data integrity, very important. Platforms, very important. Data ledgers, very important. BCP, business continuity planning, very important. Valuation, ops and op risk and ops taxonomy. To conclude the long discussion chart, fundamental review of the trading book would definitely hit the roadblock. There is no doubt about that. We need the regulators, but unfortunately their limited understanding of the regulators is that they are not going to be talking about important things like ONIA, Cora, Saron, ESTR, Sonia, Honia, Tona, and SFR. And another most important thing is that as we are talking about the rec tech, the regulatory part of this thing is completely missing. Example, SOFR valuation to an extent you will get on Reuters or Bloomberg. Okay, I agree with that. But the rec part, which is the regulatory part is completely missing worldwide. It's not there. There is no API, application programming interface, which I have for get private or public API and APIification, which can be taken to compute SOFR valuation, which can be taken to Capcora, which can be taken to Saron. So the prop systems and heard again, the prop system would be working. And when the prop system would be working, example, Goldman did a trade with JP Morgan on SOFR swaption. Goldman having a prop system of SOFR, JP having a prop system of SOFR, they both are doing. But can that valuation be available on Reuters? No. You can only imagine how this valuation would have done, could have done. But you cannot guess it, but you cannot make it precisely. Because this is prop software. So the red part, which is reporting part. So in the next two years, the following would be the issue. Number one. We will see a drastic failure of fundamental review of the trading book. That's bound to happen. Number two, the nine fallback rates will face the heat because they are not ready as far as the structured derivative, the rec part is concerned. Number three, the holistic regulatory part, which includes the, you know, the marketplaces like Apex. Now DTCC is launching a marketplace. The API, the APIification, all is completely missing. We are doing good things. We are doing fancy things, but we are not completely ready for that. So end result, we are bound to lose. This was, we are going to get discussed about fundamental review of the trading book, which include all this. You know, my mobile number, which is plus nine one nine eight double nine two four two nine seven eight. You know, our fixed income platform, www.fixedincome.global. In case you wish to, uh, participate in our daily derivative mail, you are most welcome. You just text to me and we will add you out. Have a great time.